amazing and wonderful value farm family thank you so much for clicking thank you so much for watching this video if you're new here please consider subscribing and you can also call me tina i'm the host on this channel thank you so much for showing us much support and love of this content that we give out on this channel of course today it's just an exciting day as well we are back at the farm there's so much going on so today we always bring you these videos because your wish is our command so that today we are definitely going to show you how we clean our pig star because that is what most of you have been asking. Questions always come along how we clean the pen star, how do we manage the wastes, how, where do, how do the pigs really urinate, where is the, the urine of the pigs, all that is really coming up. So today I really took this chance for us to come here so that we can show you how we maintain this pen star and how we keep it clean like the way you see the pigs really being very very clean so today we are going to do the work together so that you can also pick a leaf in case you have a farm out there you definitely also make sure that your pigs are really really clean as you can see just right here the the team is already working we are already offloading the wood shavings most of you have been wondering what do we put on the floor of our pigs of the pig house mostly we use wood shavings and this is the wood shavings coming of course we purchased from the from the furniture stores this is what it is so basically the boys are also helping out bringing them we are loading them because we mostly bring them in bulk and we put them in one section so that every time we are going to clean because we clean these pen stars almost every day so this is what we are doing and i'm definitely taking you to the house so that you can also see how we are cleaning the pigs how we keep them very very clean because cleaning the pigs also helps you to for them not to get sick anytime because this is really very very good for them as long as you keep them clean they'll rarely get sick they will be they'll grow faster and also bigger as you expect them to be so basically that's what we are going to definitely show you so that you can see what is really happening come along with me so that we can definitely show you mr charles is also on standby to also help us about the cleaning and we are also definitely going to do the cleaning together with you so that you can see the ideal way of how we do the cleaning so come along with me so that we can definitely do that at this first house remember this house this pen that has three sections that we have and we have different pigs at different sections depending on the sizes because we decided to separate them depending on their sizes so that they don't fight and they can also fit together yeah that's how it is basically so let's go with you so that we can see what's happening <laughs> guys we are here today we are going to do the cleaning as you can see the pig star is here the piglets the pigs are also definitely enjoying the stay the welcoming us to the pen star mr charles is already here with us mr charles how is your morning the morning is fine yes please introduce yourself and my to pigs. people oh sorry 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 it's sorry okay, dear it's sorry okay, it's okay, it's okay. are you fine eh? <laughs> so introduce yourself to the people out there hi guys hi viewers as you saw mr charles in bracket sempex if you forget my name sempex ah no 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 you are not my friend You're but once you remember mm -hmm. the name sempex you are my friend exactly yours. so we are here value farm members yeah we are here with our director we are we're gonna show you how we clean uh this pen yes. for our pigs, our pigs yes. before we give them 
feeds. Exactly. However, we have already given them, but now we want to demonstrate to you how we do it yeah. and how we could be able to keep them keep as clean them as they are. As they are. Okay. And also maintaining them to be clean because most of them really love to see the pigs really very clean. Most of them have already said this in the videos that the pigs are really very healthy, they are very clean, they are very friendly. Why do you think we do that? It's because we are always with them, interacting with them, making sure that they are in a very clean environment. So we are here today to show you the cleaning process. So Mr. Charles, yes, please. how are we going to do this? Where do we start from so that we can demonstrate clearly? Now what we do usually, mm. we first clean, you know they have got their free zone area. Okay. okay. So we go, what is that free zone area? this is where they put their wastes. Okay. Yes. Most of them have been asking, where do the pigs really do the wastes? Yeah. The so this is the place all along here yeah, they where up. they put their waste yes and usually they are so good even for urinating they come they, to one section exactly yes. just here so when we are cleaning we usually start from here mm. what do we need um is bring the, the yeah so what do we do because you see these uh, uh wastes yeah. at times they are so they are almost everywhere. Yeah. What we do, we cover some because we do use IMO, okay. but if they are much, we remove some. We remove because some. mind you, we also need them in our gardens. Yeah, true. Yeah, so we cannot leave everything here mm. for IMO mm. on this deep natural bed. Yes. We have to remove as my brother there going to show you. Yes. Yeah. Can so Eric see. is right here. He's also so this is how we do it. We remove some. Not, ev Not everything, but yeah, some. But some. Okay. So after that, after removing some, mm. we bring uh, at least one or two sacks Sucks of uh, sawdust mm. or wood shavings, yes. and then we, we put uh, another layer. Can we get just something? Yeah. This is how we do. we do it. So we remove part of the, of the waste so that we can take to the garden. Then some of it remains here. That's how it is. And at least in maximum like twice a week, twice a week. we have to spray the IMO. IMO. Yes. So today we are not going to spray the IMO, but we already did that already. How many days ago? Uh, three days ago. Three days ago. Yes. Yeah. Eric also here. So after collecting some of the waste, then we put them in this Benson. big Benson and then we put them somewhere where we collect everything, all this manure, because this is our manure. Yes. We cannot dare to leave everything with these pigs for IMO, no way. Okay, it's too much. Yeah, it's too much. And we need it also because yeah, it so has to get... why do we leave some of it here? Yeah, because um, when you spray IM on them, mm, they, they, dry. they dry, and after getting dry, they mix mm. within these wood husks, okay. and eventually these pigs do it. You know, it, pigs do eat some of these wood husks, yeah, and it, also they again take back what they put they out. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it is. Yeah. Okay. That is really nice. So after that, we spread this. Yeah, after so marriage. Uh, so now, we are taking this. Mm. So then now, what we do? Mm. We no, we just do like this. We just pour. Yeah, we pour. We pour some. Let me show you. Yeah, we are gonna use all this here okay. for demonstration. Hey, hey, you turn, turn, turn. Okay. Yeah. Then ah. we get a lake. Then we get a lake. Uh -huh. Then we do that way. Like that. Guys, you'll excuse me today. I don't have my boots on. I forgot them somewhere. <laughs> hey. So this is how 
how we maintain. We clean when they're also inside. We don't take them outside. It is also once in a while. Shvi, come on, my friends, come on. How are you? Yeah, how? Are you? This is how we do it, and they enjoy. This is what we call natural deep bed for the pigs. Yeah. With these wood shavings. And they love they, to come here. Exactly. You see how they love the clean place? So that's how it is. Hello, hello. See you. So, so one whole sack is already gone. Yeah. So if it is a day for spraying, mm -hmm. after doing like this, um, scattering them very well, then we use our IMO and we spray, spray. exactly. Yeah. So we are demonstrating the part that we have not yet done earlier on because of the waste that we are right. And then after here, mm -hmm. then the next step mm -hmm. is to clean this the that the, 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 exactly so that after cleaning can you demonstrate show them so this that's how so we must clean why should we clean these traps every time we put of course we have to clean them because once you want to keep these pigs mm. to be healthy to also they should eat from their trap when they are clean when it's really yeah clean. as we use our plates when they are clean mm. so we have Make to sure exactly the traps are also exactly very very exactly. clean because now you see this is wood ask see yeah. wood shavings would not like to mix wood shavings with their feeds yeah, we exactly. want to when they are taking let them take feeds alone yeah that is so true yes so you so see we have how to everything clean. is getting better so this is how you must do it and every time maybe the the pigs mess it up at least Make sure that you come and sweep. And, and mind even you, scrub. Okay. We, mind you, and uh, thrice a week, mm. we have to clean them with water. Yes. Yeah, we brush them uh, and then. With liquid soap, with, exactly with the brush. With, uh -huh, with yeah. the disinfectant uh, liquid. Oh, wow. Uh, exactly, yeah. To avoid any disease, any disease to attack our pigs. We exactly. try to make sure that the cleanliness is there. For sure. We are feeding them rightly. So all that can also help you also make sure that your pigs grow healthy, grow bigger as you can see. I bet the last time you saw these pigs, they were not this size. They are quite bigger. Every time I come to the farm, the pigs have a different size. So they are growing bigger because they are living in a very good, good environment, environment yes. as you can see. So most of you have been asking, how are we maintaining the waste? Where are they doing? You can see where we are standing right now. This is their place that they do. They, they put their waste and where they urinate, they don't urinate any howly. That is the beauty about the pigs, by the way. And they are very clean and we always maintain them very clean. And also washing. You can also tell them how often do we wash our pigs or do we even wash our pigs, Mr. Charles? I tell you, they wash themselves. Okay. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. Because with this uh, natural deep bed, mm. there is no way they can get dirt. True. Yeah, because the bed is clean enough and we do keep it clean all the time. So, yeah, all the time. Yeah. So, and they are so friendly, Mr. Charles. Yeah, they are friendly. They are friendly. Then, what about the water troughs? Maybe you can also show. Yeah, them. after now, after cleaning here, yeah. now you can see. Uh, later, bring that gel can yeah. with a cup and we show them exactly what we do. Hello. They love the water so much. Yep. So whenever they come and you know they like cooling themselves in this water. So now you see, mm. as we said earlier on, mm. that this is a semi-permanent building. Yeah. Exactly whatever we did is the semi-constructed. Semi yeah, semi-constructed. Yes. So uh, unlike in the other main structure, yes. everything is going to be different. Yeah. Because now you see here, you go out, go out. Come out. Come on, my friend. Come out. Should be, should be. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. So now, what we do, um, we should have made a trench here yeah. to, to this what exactly. But since we made it semi permanent, mm. we had to make these uh, uh, troughs mm. to catch all this water, which sprinkles after when it, while it is taken. Ah, exactly. So we. Keep on removing this water mm. uh, so that we 
we don't want this water to get on our IMO exactly otherwise it will get wet and once it gets wet they keep on uh, digging, 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 digging down. Yeah, down. Pigs really love to dig exactly. down. Exactly. And once something, the, the area is wet, mm. they have to dig down to know where is this uh, wetness coming from. Yes. Yeah. So to avoid that, we have to keep on Draw moving water. as my brother here is doing. Yes. Then we yes. also clean the other trough. Exactly. After the water is already thrown. Yeah. And then after cleaning these water troughs mm. and the, uh, those feed troughs, yes. then we give them their feeds. their feeds yeah and they enjoy that's why you realize that the pigs are really very clean as you see them all the time people have been asking you guys how have you been doing this i think you can at least see briefly how it is done here and how we are managing the pigs to make sure that they are very very clean like mr charles said they always clean themselves so basically make sure you have enough imo the wood shavings that are there these pigs keep clean all the time. Yep. Then also another question, Mr. Charles, someone was asking about like keeping the pigs. Yep. They were asking, is it okay for you to keep them like free range, feed them with the feed, but also let them out to feed freely? Okay. What, what is your thoughts oh, about that? Oh, that question is so good. Yes. You know, let me tell you, personally, I wouldn't like to support at all free range okay. regarding my the pigs. pigs. Why? Now you see that one mm. is resting. Yes. I tell you sincerely, on free range, they keep on running. Yes. They are restless yes. and they take less water. But here they rest after taking some feeds and now and then they take water. water. You know, the size of the pig mm. depends on the, on the water. water it takes or she takes or it takes. Okay. So on free range, you can't manage all that. You can't. Exactly. That is what it is. Yeah. So personally, and you know, after taking their feeds, mm. they lie down, and by li lying down after taking water, mm. the digestion takes place, and uh, there is uh, the body uh, food converter works well. True. But now, if it keeps on running here, running there, running there, okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. You can keep them free range. Free range. But my dear, I bet mm. one million shillings. Mm. I will leave you behind when I'm already <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> it is okay. Because now even now you see this one mm -hmm. to come to this size. Eh? Yeah, this is so yeah. Huge, guys. This one to this come to this size. It takes water at any given time, mm. and then after taking its feeds. When it wants to rest, it rests. Exactly. For me, what I would advise is one thing. Mm. Get a muddy dam, get them time, a timetable for them. Okay. You leave them to go to a, 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 a muddy dam. Mm -hmm. They swim, they swim, they swim. After at least an hour, bring them back. Bring them back yeah. inside. For me, I want to keep my pigs in. In the pen exactly wow that is really nice then what do you have to talk about the because kids really love to dig down yeah. what advice would you give to a farmer out there who is trying to use imo method system yeah. Yeah. but also wants to know like how should i avoid my kids from digging down actually you cannot avoid them to dig down yes. they have to dig down but you have what you have to know use a proper natural deep bed yeah. that is three feet deep okay. and if really by the way you can manage four feet so much the better because you see all this part eh, mm. from now from here eh, when you go down three feet mm. of course it will dig and stop at least two feet deep True. that will be still I am. I mean uh, wood shavings, shavings it true. will not get to, to the uh, soil to the it will you will just come and again cover that cover and egg, also egg, it egg, out. Egg, exactly wow. and by the way when you feed them well mm. they lay a lay dig okay they dig just a little mm. as you can see here eh? okay. yeah as you can see here eh? they wow. don't dig as much as anything no way no okay. way yes so that is really so nice exactly the question is i repeat mm. the depth the depth should be at least not less than three feet if you can reach four feet, so much the better. And if you reach four feet, mm. you can keep your natural deep bed for a year. Wow. At least at three feet, 
at least six months. Six months. Yeah, or eight. Wow, yeah. that is really so nice. Any piece of advice for someone who wants to build an IMO system in their farm? Mr. Yeah, Charles? if you want to make an IMO, hmm. use the proper method of making IMO. Okay. Or else, if, for example, you make just one feet deep, yeah. and you want to make IMO, hmm. I tell you, I'm gonna laugh at you. Really? Because that's not really a proper natural uh, the bed. The bed for our pigs. Yes. It should be not less than three feet. Three That's feet. one meter. And you put whatever, as I explained earlier on, mm. whatever you have to put, all the materials, the charcoal, mm. dust, uh, the wood shavings, the logs, the salt. Yeah. Uh, the, we shall definitely um, do a video on that step exactly. by step mm. in our permanent structure, exactly. right? Exactly. Yeah, the lead soil, mm. the lead soil, that is an earth soil. Mm. Yeah. So. Okay. Then another thing, the most common question most people want, because in different countries, I think they don't have the IMO liquid. Yep. What is the other alternative for the IMO liquid for farmers out uh, there? For sure, if you have sugar, okay. get sugar, get uh, some fruits. Fruits? Yeah. Ferment them. Okay. Uh, put them in a drum. Tie on a nail knot something which is uh, which can allow air to enter okay. like, like, a, a net. Uh, like a net by the yes. way mosquito net uh -huh, yes, exactly net. Uh -huh. so that the air can enter, enter and the flies don't okay. enter okay. or any other terrible insects eh? okay. then leave it there for at least 14 days okay after that it will ferment okay. after those seven days or 40 i mean 14 days two weeks eh? okay. put it somewhere you know to will uh, uh, boil actually. Okay. After that, put some put it somewhere for one week to cool down. Filter it. Get a funnel. Filter okay. it. Put it in your in your at least one liter okay. in two twenty liter of uh, water. One liter of that liquid. Uh, exactly. Okay. Spray around. Oh, yeah. That is. And that's an a, and a, yeah, that's I am oh yeah you and here by the way mm. I'm gonna start doing that so okay. that we don't need those people have been selling us I am yes. they are they're gonna lose that money wow. because we are gonna make our I am here, here. Yeah. We shall definitely since we don't have video. fruits here mm. we shall be buying fruits, Which fruits exactly do um, you orange I mean orange pineapple okay uh, uh lemon okay exactly mangoes. All those. All those. Do you cut it, it or you do? No, cut, cut, cut. You cut remove them, the yeah. fillings? No, 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 no. With just cut, yes. Even pineapple, just cut, cut, so, put and there put and put, yeah. Put in water, put in sugar, okay. and that's all. And that is it. Yeah. And if you have got There are no a, quantities of maybe how many mangoes you should put. Ah, uh, no. You put there as much as you as can. As much as you Because can. the more it is concentrated, the more you will use it longer. Won't it attract the flies because of the. That's why Sickness. that's why even you see this IMO we use mm. from shops. Mm. Once you bring it here, fries will first come first. Okay, then yeah, later. because it has got that smell, that sweet but smell. still they have they to go off. It is up there. Okay. Yeah, and you will not as you can smell here. Yes. Do you, you feel any smell? smell? Of can pigs? you by you can see our pigs here? Yes. But once you are just passing there, you, you can hardly think smell. that they are we are keeping pigs here. Pigs here. Yeah. So wow. I will train them more about this. Making yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, I am wow, that was really so By amazing. themselves so that they save money. They save yeah, money. Yes. We wow. should learn to make money by, our, I mean to save money by ourselves. Yes. As now for us here, now we have got a very big uh, area yeah. for uh, maize. So yeah, we want to plant our own maize so that we don't we buy blank. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. We shall definitely also show you our maize, our maize garden so that you can also see what is really happening there but at least we are trying to cut costs as well because if you're a farmer you need to make sure that you can also produce things at your farm as long as you have enough space with time you're also going to to plant our our fruits here we tried planting but of course because of the seasons they failed but definitely we shall plant more fruits around the farm so that we can also make our own IMO with the help of Mr. Charles, of course, because he knows all these things. I even do know that he can even do that for, for the farm. That is really amazing. And I hope you guys have also learned one or two things at least from what we have discussed here. Mr. Charles, thank you so much. You're the welcome. pigs look amazing. We appreciate all your work, all thank the you. efforts that you're putting here. 
the pigs are very clean. Someone may think we really bathe these pigs every day, but no we way. do not even no. do anything no. at all. Because of the, the method we are using here, the IMO system, that's why the pigs are really, really clean. And of course, I wanted to do this video because of so many questions surrounding IMO. That's why we did this again. But of course, as I promised you, we shall definitely do step-by-step -step way of making the IMO in our permanent structure. Then also making the IMO liquid with Mr. Charles, like he has told us, we shall definitely do that because most countries do not have the IMO liquid in their countries because most of them contact us. They want us to give them all transport for them. But it's very tricky because it's like chemical and most yeah. people do not transport such items outside the country. So basically, guys, I really appreciate you guys for the love and support, Mr. Charles. Mr. Charles, tell them to subscribe to this channel. Please try to subscribe. This value farm channel, you're going to learn a lot of things. Yes. I, I tell you sincerely speaking. Yes. Ask any question, I know I will answer that question. Yes, what about the piglets? When should they expect us to? Uh, the piglets say by... Because this month, mm. we are we're going to start getting piglets. Piglets. Uh, and then a big number. Wow. Uh, from these... Uh, from these pigs that yeah, we are exactly. having here. So, let them give us at least by this is October, November, December. Yes. Yeah, December. But we shall be selling a piglet at one month. Okay. Because a piglet here of one month will look like of two, two months. months. Thank you guys so much. I know this video has been very helpful to anyone out there. If you found it helpful, please give us a thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't already. Please subscribe, share with all your friends and family, tell a friend to tell a friend because there's much, much content coming up on this channel. Till next time. Bye-bye.